GoPro take a photo. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. I'm out of Pacific City. It's the first week of February. We got a pretty awesome day weather-wise. We're gonna fish for rockfish today, ling cod. Hopefully we're gonna get in and out quickly with quick limits before this wind kicks up. But let's get out there and have an awesome day. Let's go. So our bait today, Berkeley Gulp Minnows, four inch. They're deadly for these rockfish. We got that hooked onto a number five jig head, about an 18 inch leader. Got a swivel and a little tie on weight here just to get it down to the bottom. But essentially we're looking for suspended schools. We're gonna cast in those suspended schools and those fish are just gonna gobble it. So we should have some hot action. So let's get rigged up. Let's find some fish, let's go. So when you rig this guy up here, you wanna put it on. Gotta be gentle with it. Take your time, it's hard with cold hands. Essentially that bait should go on pretty straight. That's the way it should look when it's on the hook. Gonna goose it up. A little bit of scent. Right at the top of the jig head. And that bait's ready to fish. Oh. <laughs> Come on. There's a fish. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Barely hooked. No, 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 no. Barely hooked. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. They could drift it off the mark. seal. Mm. It does not look like a stellar sea lion, so that's... Oh, wow! Um, I would say we got a pretty good bite. <laughs> wow. Goodbye. Got a re-rig now. Ah, uh, no wonder why we ain't getting... So one thing I do with those minnow, with these Berkeley Gulp minnows, is I put them in a big plastic Tupperware like this. It's a lot easier than messing with them in the bag, because once you open the bag, unfortunately the bag leaks and uh, it sticks. The scent that they put on these guys, fish love it, but that stink never goes away. So do yourself a favor get a system that isn't going to leak and stink. Oh, man. Let's get 
this guy ready to fish. Goosed up with some scent. Send him back out. That's disappointing. No wonder why I didn't get a follow up hit. They got bit in half. <laughs> Oh, that was a fish. Come on. That, my friends, was a fish. What? It is a fish. Yeah, fish on. Fish on, baby. What do we got? Feels like a ling. Oh no. A giganto green ling. Come on. All right. Not bad, not bad. This is a big greenling. And he just inhaled this bait. That'll make it a couple of nice fish tacos, huh? There's a fish. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Please be a big hello, toad. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Oops. Well, can't catch a fish without a hook. One of the things that I do to make fishing a little quicker and easier here is I tie up a bunch of jig heads on leaders like this, on leaderboard. There when I'm fishing. Just pull one out of here. It's already pre-tied with the loop on there. I just got to clip it onto my swivel and I'm back fishing. So I got several different sizes and weights of hooks so that I can just clip in and go. I have to worry about retying out here with gloves on and cold and all that other stuff so it's uh, one of the ways that it can just you know maximize your time on the water when you're not spending all your time re-rigging There's a fish. Yeah. Come on, baby. Bandomatic. This one feels big. Ooh, mama. What do we got? Oh, come on. Nice cabbie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cabbie. Check that out, huh? Nice cab is on. Except he's got to go back.
Got a couple of nice lingcod rigs that we're going to use. We're going to be looking for the same kind of structure. So the lingcod might be hanging out. Should be good to go. Be nice to get a nice lingcod or two. Home with double limit. We got the big hammer swim bait, and I put a stinger hook on it for the short biters. But we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to use a tip that I got from a buddy of mine, Chris Blanchard, on the bite. If you like to, if you guys want to check out his uh, YouTube channel. He showed me this trick on one of his videos where he takes a piece of squid, puts it on the body of the bait, and then takes the magic stretchy string wraps the stuff onto the bait which is a pretty cool trick I'm gonna see if it works it's gonna give it some good scent but we're also gonna goose it up some of our own scent so that we can go find a nice fat ling cod hiding out good depth so let's give that a shot it's good to me Chris let's see if your trick is gonna work it's pretty tasty to me All right. go find this is some good structure right here Oh, baby whoa this one's got some weight to it oh yes oh mama thank you Chris this is gonna be a big laying or a cabbie Oh, hello. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, it's a big one. Holy. Oh. Holy. Bam, look at the size of that fish. Holy crap. There's a bite. Fish on. Oh! The thing about rockfish in the wintertime is they don't school up like they normally do in the summer. So we're just looking for a few things on the bottom. It looks like some good structure. That was a fish. <laughs> oh, there's a bite again. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, fishy. You just gotta make sure you're on the bottom. That's the biggest thing with rockfish. Make sure you're on the bottom. If you're not hitting bottom, you ain't fishing. Unless you're fishing a suspended school. So I'm periodically opening my bale and closing the bale just to make sure that I'm still on the bottom. Right now we're in about 47 feet of water. Some good structure underneath us. There should be some fish here. There we go. There's a fish.
Well, oh, wow. That is a big one. Oh, my goodness. That's a colossal. Well, we're wrapping it up for the day. We limited out on rockfish, and I got two of my personal best lingcod. What an awesome, awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And I look forward to joining you in the next adventure. Thanks.